Hello everyone, my name is Sadi Chohan and in this tutorial I'm going to show you block work quantity takeoff and in this video I'm going to use plan surf for measurement and I will use excel sheet for the calculation. This is just a basic example to clear the concept. It's very helpful for young professional and to understand the concept it's recommended to watch till end so you will understand the concept plus you will be able to create better excel sheet and even prepare better formulas and if you really need these drawings and excel sheet watch till end and I will explain you how you can get this excel sheet so on the left side you can see plan shift is open where I have basic drawing sample only to give you the example I have a drawing I have section door and window schedule and on the right side I have created a basic calculation here and I will explain you how exactly to walk. So when we measure the quantity for the block work wall it's not only the length we need to subtract the door and window as well we need to multiply the height of the wall as well there are specific scenarios and there are few things that we need to consider let's just start the process so you will understand how exactly it works. I'm going to create a new item I will use linear when I click here linear software ask me what is the name I can provide a name here block work and do I need to give a name wall type one two three do I need to specify based on external wall internal wall or based on the thickness everybody has their own way and approaches and you can see already I checked there are two different wall thickness 200 and 150 if you want to categorize based on that that is also one approach so let's just use one approach so block work I have given the name you can even specify more wall block work or whatever the name you like to give choose color press ok so first thing is I'm going to get the length the item is created you can see here 0 meter I understand we need a square meter I'll take you there but this is just an example so uh, if you can see in the legend in the section detail if it's an external wall is still here you can you know follow the same process however let's just get the length so I have completed the total quantity I'll right click and stop and I can show you the legend when I click here show legend software show us on this floor I have done total block work 48 almost 48 fine this is the length but we all know that block work we need it usually based on uh, the BOQ format and BOQ standard principle so I have prepared the basic excel sheet that can help you to achieve the result so I will mention here its wall just type the detail quantity it's just one what is the length 48 if you need to be very specific okay type the same what is the height so you can check the height in section so here I can see here height is 2.7 again this is just an example you can be more specific and you can measure and you can check the height fine so I have the total length I type the height and all I need is just to multiply this so it's just one this is the total square meter but is it accurate question yourself we know that there are door and window that needs to be subtracted from here so yes we still need to do that there are different ways people prepare their excel sheet in different manners I have prepared this excel sheet to just show you how we can do it in another way so if you see on the right side I have the door and window schedule from where I got this value so usually we receive the drawing we usually we receive the door and window schedule there are many way you can insert your door and window schedule from PDF to Excel you can use free tool like I love PDF you can use scanner and many tools however I had the door and window schedule this is the total window schedule I just copy the value if you don't have any tool you can you know manually type as well but it will take time I use free tool called I love PDF it convert into Excel and my values are here same I had door schedule I just convert into Excel and I bring the values here maybe in another project you have door 11 door 12 and this table can go beyond as well there is no restriction however you have the total window schedule and you have the total door schedule how it going to help we will see now in a second fine so we have total length here which is 47 
Now I need to know how many door type 1, 2, 3 I have so I can subtract the quantity. So by looking at here maybe I can start from here. I find out I have one window 9 right. So I can type here window 9. By typing the value how exactly I got this number. This is just a formula. So you can get this formula either you can see in the video I can type it in the description. So the best thing is I can just simply share this excel sheet so you can you know uh, adjust or customize based on your need. So how many windows do you really have here window type 09. So in this plan I have only one. So I can just type here I have just one window. So you can see here it's subtracted. Basically, I'm just multiplying. It's a basic formula. Then you have window 8, window 7, window 6 and 5. So what I can do is So what I can do is just simply type I have window 8, window 7, window 6, window 5 and of course you can simply continue. I will select the cells and press Ctrl D to bring the value down and now you can see it automatically subtract the quantity fine if all windows are done you have few doors as well you can go in the same sequence so maybe you can complete all windows first and then jump to the door but just to give you the example I have few doors as well so I'll type here 0 2 door and it's just one only you may have two three you can proceed accordingly I have window 3 and of course you can add it more I have door 1 so I'll type here door 1 it's one quantity. So once we have complete door and window subtraction, it's already considered in sum. So instead of 129, the actual and accurate quantity is 113. So this is for ground floor. Later, if once you finish all ground floor, maybe you can proceed with first floor. Maybe you can copy this table and bring it down. You can go floor by floor. There are many ways, but this was just an example that a basic Excel calculation can help you quickly to get the result. Maybe you can prepare another table, just copy and paste and then use it for internal block work. So how exactly it's working? There is a formula placed already. Whenever this ID match with the ID of window or ID of door, it automatically bring the length and width. If I will show you here, I'll press F2 from the keyboard and you can see here it's looking in these two table and automatically bring the value. It can help you in many ways. It can help you for lintel quantity, for window heads, for so many ways. So this is just basic example to help you understand that every quantity surveyor prepare their own calculation sheet that help them to get the result and of course once you have this result you can connect this value with your BOQ doesn't matter how you prepare the BOQ as per NRM1, NRM2 or maybe POMI or multiple other format but this is how we get the result so if you really need this excel sheet and drawings for practice I want you to share this YouTube video on your LinkedIn and tag me in a post by doing that it will automatically give me the notification and I will personally send you the message with this excel sheet and the drawing for practice. This is the only way because I receive so many messages and I may not have a chance to reply every message but once you tag me it will give me the notification and I will send you this excel sheet. I hope you will benefit this is the main important thing that concept should be clear. If you really find it useful don't forget to share your feedback and that's it for today see you in the next video.